A lovely theme there composed and performed by our Catherine Cook. Because in tonight's Pacific Storyland, we are going to introduce you to quite a bunch. Three local children's authors who all happen to write about the same thing and more or less the same time. And if you think that is sweet, chances are you'll find their subject matter very, uh, shall we say, appealing. Catherine Cook and photographer Corey Long have their story. It's another drippy, dreary night in Portland, not the least bit tropical. But step inside Green Bean Books on Northeast Alberta and you'll find a tropical fruit. Bananas! Oh, they're a berry! In unusual abundance. There are so many banana facts. Three different books. Most of us are working <laughs> on like a handful of stories. By three different local authors. Banana, of course, wants to be the star. All about bananas. I guess let's just talk about the obvious here. I mean, what are the odds of this? This is pretty random. It's very random. <laughs> it's so bananas. Well, as a prior statistician, yeah. I think the odds are low. Carrie Tillotson spent 13 years as a biostatistician. She left that career to follow her dream of becoming an author. One day I realized, well, there's nothing stopping me but me, so I should start. Last year, Carrie wrote Counting to Bananas, a mostly rhyming fruit book. It's now a finalist for an Oregon Book Award. So my inspiration is that guy. It feels pretty cool. 11-year-old Evan Tillotson is proud of his mom. It's not time for bananas yet. And everything she does. Definitely uh, good at uh, writing, reading, and art. Also good at making really tasty breakfasts. And then there's Second Banana. Not ranking the books here, that's actually the title. This is the second banana who's very much not excited to be the second banana. Kate Barraby did the illustrations, which help convey the book's sweet message. With help from your friends, you can find a solution to any situation. And it's full of hilarious puns. The writer, Blair Thornburg, did an excellent job. Which is the most appealing. <laughs> Zoe Abbott wrote and illustrated Banana. It's her eighth book and came out this month. Zoe drew her inspiration from the streets of Portland, a guy having some fun on his lunch break. He started to mime with the banana, <laughs> pretended it was a leash, and then he pretended it was a phone, and then he pretended it was a guitar, and so I thought that was hilarious. And so I started writing this book about a magical banana. But peel back the book's simple theme, and you'll find a deeper message. Zoe's book definitely has sort of a metaphor for parents being distracted on our phones. Well, I think also when you have a real book in your hand, there's, you're not distracted. You know, there's no other distractions. It's just a book. Just this magical thing just makes me feel, like, happy. Ripe for the picking. And, like, satisfied that it was a good story. My favorite thing is when I hear that a parent says, oh, they've asked me to read this book over and over and over mm. again. To be clear, most authors don't usually team up to promote their books at the same time. Then again... Isn't it like a million times more fun to do it together? As so. a bunch? Yeah. As a bunch. <laughs> the fruits of their labor and the fruit of the spirit. And everybody just wants to support each other and have us all grow and succeed together. And All of it thriving right here in the rain. In Northeast Portland, Catherine Cook. KGW News. Definitely appealing. If you've got an idea for Pacific Storyland, Catherine would love to hear it. So here are some easy ways to get in touch. Text your tips to 503-226-5088. Maybe you're an email person, the new address for the series, Pacific Storyland at KGW.com. If you like good old fashioned mail, we also accept fruit baskets. Yeah, kind of kidding.